Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard. I've been away for a few weeks, but I'm finally back. Today, I brought along this gun here in front of me, and it might look to you guys like an ordinary FX Impact, but it's not. This gun, I've dubbed the Frankenstein, and I will tell you guys all about it in this video. So let's go out there, and let's get started. Right in the block hole, down. Two for two. Smoke that pigeon <laughs> straight down. Now, let me tell you why I call this gun the Frankenstein, and that is the whole gun that you see here has been assembled by a lot of spare parts that I had laying around. It's an M3 impact main block which I've based this whole build on. Underneath you will see a aftermarket cover plate which says powered by Huma air here on the side. Now I can assure you inside this gun is not a Huma regulator because I've used that regulator which I got with that part on another gun. This gun still has an original M3 regulator from FX in there which works really really good. You will see that I have a Mark II valve adjuster system here in the front. You can see it by the little knob that I've got over there. And then underneath here, you will also see that I've got an aftermarket uh, trigger also fitted here. It's a tack trigger, it's been based upon competition shooting, and it's fully adjustable. That's two headshots back to back. Anchor that one. Now moving behind the main block over here, you will see that the plenum on this gun looks a little bit smaller than the original 720 plenum. This plenum is from the older generation Mark II impacts and I fitted it onto this gun. This plenum only works with the older generation valve blocks that came off the last Mark IIs or the early M3s. Now for gauges, I've used these digital gauges that's been branded FX Air Guns. Uh, you guys will remember that I've used these gauges before. The last thing that I want to show you here in the front here between the bottle and the main block is this little bypass that's in here. I don't need a front regulator for this build because I can only fill this front bottle up to 250 bars. So one regulator is more than enough to handle this whole gun setup. Close one. And get another one next to the other one. Smoked.
What a nice shot. Another one down. Now, after the mechanical part of the gun was built, I still needed to finish the gun off with the rails that fits on this gun. Um, and obviously the original top rails from FX is a two-piece rail system and that consists of the Beccatini rail and the main rail. Um, I've replaced that obviously with this Air Marksman backbone rail that you guys see here. And underneath, you guys can also see that I fitted the Arca Swiss rail from Air Marksman, which has this nice big bulky finish to it. And it has this big flat surface area that extends all the way until the underside of the trigger guard over here. Now that's a big plus as well because this rail is built for PRA shooting and for hunting situations like this it accommodates the sandbag very very well. Perfect, I had to do that one left handed. Starting down. Absolutely no chance. It shot. Now it's time to speak about the way I tuned this gun and first of all I'm shooting the 34 grain H&N heavy slugs today at 980 feet per second. Very harmonic at that speed in this gun and I'm getting really really good accuracy out of the system. I only have one regulator in this gun. That regulator has been set to 162 bar. I've got my macro adjusted to 16 maxed out and I've got my micro adjusted to 4.5 very very accurate and it's super super consistent oh, you hear that smack <laughs> smoked that one Down. Awesome shot. Another eight shot. Now to finish off this bolt, I had to add some accessories to it. Uh, starting from the top is obviously the scope that I'm using today, it's an Element Nexus. The barrel that's on this gun is a 700mm, inside there is a Superior Heavy Slug Liner. Uh, around the liner I'm just using normal O-rings, I didn't have a carbon fiber sleeve to put around, around it in the inside, so it's just standard as it sits. In the front, Donnie FL Sumo Silencer. I haven't used that silencer in a long time, also one of my favorites to use on a 22 and a 30 cal. I love to use those ones on my 30 cal impacts as well. So I fitted it to this gun. Um, and then obviously the Acutec bipod as usual, one of the best. And then I've got an MDT grip at the back here. Um, I love this gun. It is performing really, really well at the moment. And it's just damn accurate. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just maybe leave it as is. <laughs> no chance. No chance.
Take shot. pretty much we're gonna call it for today as well thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it now you know more about this gun and uh, if you like today's video go down there go smack that like button for me for all the new guys watching if you want to see more remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell thanks again for watching guys and i will see you next time cheers